Hello and welcome to HTAC Technologies YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to introduce how to do the auto provisioning for 3CX users. This introduction contains four parts, namely provisioning through local LAN, SPC, RPS, and how to add a custom provision template. Please note that the provision methods we are going to mention in this video are all under 3CS environment. For other methods and their other circumstances, please refer to our other training materials. Before going into details, let me explain to you some terminologies that will be mentioned later in this presentation, so we can be on the same page and you can understand better. PNP means plug and play. This feature allows the phones to discover the provisioning server address by multicasting the PMP subscribe message during startup. Provisioning means the process of changing the configuration by obtaining the configuration file. SBC is a software service that installs in a local network to allow connection of IP phones to the 3CX server in the cloud. RPS means redirection and provisioning server. It is a server that redirects the phone to get its configuration. Template is a file used to help customers change IP phone configurations. OK, now let's get started. First, let's take a look at provisioning through local LAN. This is a method carried out by PMP function. Before learning about how to do this, let's first know its principle. The precondition of provisioning through local LAN is there needs to be a 3CS server readily installed within the local LAN where the telephones are. The actual provisioning steps are as follows. Firstly, after you power up the phone and plug in a network cable, it automatically sends out multicast data packets. When the 3CS server picks up the multicast, the phone would appear in 3CS server's management console with its information like model name, MAC address, etc. Then you can assign an extension to the phone. Thirdly, 3CS server will respond 200 OK to confirm the connection and respond notify to the phone with the configuration server address, which redirects the phone to the provisioning URL on 3CS server. Finally, the phone responds OK and obtains configuration file from the 3CS server and applies the settings. Therefore, you do not need to specifically configure the phone. You can achieve 3CS auto provision easily by enabling PMP. Now, let's see how to achieve this step by step. First, you need to plug the phone into network and enable the phone's PMP function. Second, the phone will send a multicast message across the LAN, which will be picked up by 3CX phone system. Third, the phone will show up in the phones node in the 3CX management console as a new phone. Now assign it to an existing extension or create a new extension. You will then be taken to the extension's provisioning tab where you can specify other configuration settings for the phone. Then, through these steps, the phone will apply the settings and connect to 3CX phone system. And from here on, the IP phone will be manageable from within the 3CX management console. Another method which is also carried out by PMP function is SBC. We mentioned at the beginning of the video that SBC is a software service installed in a local network to allow connection of IP phones to the 3CX server on the cloud. Now, let's see how it works. The SBC acquires SIP and RTP VoIP packets, and through this one location, delivers them to the cloud 3CX server. By the way, SIP packets are signaling packets, and RTP packets are media packets. As you can see in the picture, SBC has to be in the same LAN as all the IP phones, and SBC and the 3CX server is connected through internet. In other words, 
SBC is like a portal for IP phones to reach the 3CX server, which is outside the LAN. From the phone's perspective, it's pretty much the same as provisioning through local LAN. But in fact, they are not communicating with the server itself, but the shadow of the server, SBC. Now, let's see how to do this. First, you need to plug the phone into network and enable the PMP function. Second, add the SBC in 3CX. To do this, in 3CX interface, under Management Console, go to SIP Trunks, then click Add SBC and provide a name for it. For instance, it can be Nanjing Office to clarify the range that the SBC is going to control. And now, the SBC link will be created. Please take note of the provisioning URL and authentication key ID. These will be required when you install your SBC. After adding the SBC in 3CX, you can install the SBC. Like I mentioned, you need provisioning URL and authentication key ID when you do this. And then you can provision your IP phones using the PMP provisioning method, just like provisioning through local LAN. Besides, a little tip, you need to enter the SBC IP address in 3CX phone provisioning here. Other than provisioning with IP phone's PMP function, we can also realize provisioning through RPS, aka redirection and provisioning server. In 3CX, this is called STUN. Again, let's first take a look at its principle. This picture shows the whole principle of 3CX RPS. It may look complicated, but please, Bear with me and let me explain. In the middle, you can see Internet with HTAC RPS server on the one side, 3CX phone system on the other side, and HTAC phone at the bottom. So it's not hard to see that this method can be used when your phones are not behind the same local LAN with 3CX phone system. The whole process is 3CX server binds the MAC of your IP phone to the RPS server through the interface between 3CX server and RPS server. When the IP phone finds the RPS server through the factory default configuration path, the RPS server sends the preset URL to the phone, and the phone obtains a configuration file from 3CX server. Simply put, configuration file is in 3CX server. The phone finds RPS server, and RPS server tells the phone where to get the file. And now, let's see the steps of doing it. Because in this way, the LAN cannot scan and discover the phone, so you have to do it manually. First, from the node Phones in the 3CX Management Console, select Add Phone. Second, select the extension that you want to assign to the phone. Third enter the MAC address of the phone. Fourth, select the appropriate phone model from the drop-down menu. And finally, in the provisioning method drop-down menu, select Direct SIP, which is STUN remote. Then, configure a phone according to requirements on the 3CX interface. For example, you can set phone display language, time zone, etc. Then click OK. The provisioning files will now be created and the link will be published to the RPS server. Please note that you can check the server event log to see if the RPS request was successfully sent. For example, in this log, we can see the request has been sent successfully. After that, power up the phone and connect it to network. The phone will boot up and require a username and password. Username is the corresponding extension number and password is a voicemail pin for that extension. Put them in, then it can be provisioned automatically. Now, let's summarize the characteristics of three provisioning methods. From this picture, you can see the differences between them. As we can see, in provisioning through local LAN, IP phone and the 3 cx server have to reside in the same LAN but they don't need to be in the same LAN in provisioning through SBC and RPS. And in both provisioning through local LAN and SBC, 
The server automatically scans for phones in the LAN, yet in provisioning through RPS, it doesn't. We suggest that you choose an appropriate method according to the network environment. For provisioning through local LAN, phones and the 3 sec server must be in the same LAN, and it can work without any internet access. This is suitable for places that has high confidentiality requirements, or places in small scale. For provisioning through SPC, phones and SPC must be in the same LAN, and SPC needs to have access to the 3 sec server, which can be outside the LAN. This is suitable when you can't or don't want to install the 3 sec server locally. As for provisioning through RPS, the three parties, phones, RPS server, and the 3 sec server all must have access to each other, and they don't need to be in the same LAN. This is suitable for working scenarios that people are scattered in different places, like work from home, or when there are multiple LANs, like a head company with many subsidiaries. Finally, let's see how to edit custom provision template. The default provision template that 3CX provides might not be to your need. In this case, you can customize it and change it as you want. Let's see how to do it. The 3CX system provides the default configurations, as you can see on this slide. You can change this directly on the phone provisioning interface of 3CX. Sometimes, you may not find the configuration you want in the default configurations. For example, you want to change headset priority, but it's not shown here. However, this doesn't mean you cannot change it. So, what can we do? A fact we need to know is that each HTAC phone setting is connected with a P number of HTAC template file. That means whenever a configuration is changed, what really happens is the corresponding P number is changed. So, we can directly modify the value of P number in the template to change the configuration provided by the 3CX phone system. The following part will show you how to modify the template by several examples. Let's take headset priority as example. We can refer to the following steps to change it. The first step is to find the P number of the configuration. To find it, first, you have got to log onto the phone's web page, enter settings, preference, headset priority. Then, right click the drop down box and choose inspect item. Then, you can see the source code of this item. As you can see here, the P number of headset priority is 20019. Another way to know the P number is to refer to our another document, Parameters List, which you can get from us to find the P number. So from here, I know the P number of setting headset priority is 20019, and the value 1 means it is enabled. Now we have the P number, the second step is to find template in the 3CX system settings interface to configure it. In 3CX interface, here in Settings, Advanced, Templates, you can find the template you need. In the Template Settings drop-down list, you can find the fundamental template you want and click it, you'll see the code of the template. Then the final step is to copy and rename the file, edit the P number value, and then you can save this as a custom provision template. Then this template can be used for provisioning with your own customized preference. In some cases, you may not find the P number you want in the default template, so you need to add it yourself. Let's take changing backlight in active level as an example. First step is the same. Find the configuration on the phone's web page, right click and select inspect. You'll find the corresponding P number. Here we can see the P number for backlight in active level is 20642. With the P number we've just found, we can refer to the parameter list and get the P number code. Then we go back to 3CX template files, copy and rename the file, and add the P number into the file. And now we've created a provision template with the P number you want added. 
Please note that the pin number you added should match a format in a template. And please remember to save the file after your editing. Finally, in 3CX phone provisioning interface, click Add and select the file you have configured and enter the MAC address of the phone you want to configure. And the phone will be configured to your customization. That is all about how to do auto provisioning for 3CX users. If you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching and see you next time.